Welcome back to the villa tutorial series. Here in part 3 we'll be adding the finishing touches to our villa. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the tutorial series so far. Ok the next thing we're going to add to the scene is this window on the first floor here. So I'm just going to select the back window here, press the full stop key to zoom in, press shift and select the two empties as well. Press Shift D, Z, bring it up, change the amount to 2.55 meters. Of course, we want to actually see the window, so I'm going to select the wall, go over here to modifiers, add the boolean, select the eyedrop tool, and select the empty. And then we can just go ahead and apply that. I'm just going to add a window to this wall here, so I'm just going to press Shift D. Go down to Archimesh, go to Panel Window, press G, X, move it across, zoom in, make sure the window is selected and press N to bring up Window Settings. I'm going to change it to two panels and I'm going to change the width of the first panel to 150. Nope, didn't do that right. There we go and the second to 220. Turn off the inner frame and change the height to 50. Press R, Z90 to rotate it. Press G, snap it to that corner like that. Just bring it up. We'll make that amount four meters. And we'll just bring it to the white and make that 3 meters. And then we'll just zoom in, push it in, and make that minus 0 0.1 meters. And of course, we want to see the window, so select the wall, add modifier, add boolean, click eyedrop tool, and select the empty, and just click apply. Next, we're going to add the railing to our balcony, like you can see in the window there. So to do that, we're going to press Shift A, add a plane, press R, X, 90 to rotate it. I'm going to press G and snap it to the edge of the window like that. Press Tab to go into edit mode. Press 1 for vertices, select the white side and just snap it to that corner. Select the top, bring them down, change the amount to minus one, press A to select everything, and we want to make it thicker, so I'm going to press E to extrude, and snap it to that corner there, so it's as thick as the outer frame of the window, and then press 3 for faces, select this face, and this face at the back, press I, to inset the faces, and we'll make the thickness 0 0.05. And then we'll right click and bridge them together. And then we'll press tab to go out of edit mode, right click, or join geometry. And of course, we want it going all the way around the balcony. So to do that, I'm going to press Shift D, press R, Z90 to rotate it, press G. Snap it so it's overlaying with the other part of the balcony. Press tab to go into edit mode. Press X minus X for left view. Press X-ray mode. Press 2 for edges. We're going to select these edges and press X and click edges. 1 for vertices. Select these 4 vertices and just snap them back. And we can turn off X-ray mode and see that it's now connected to this part of the balcony and we'll turn it back on, select the white side and we're just going to bring that all the way to the front turn off x mode and zoom in and make sure it's snapped to that corner right there then we can press tab to go out, right click, origin geometry select the back, press shift D and just snap it so it's overlaying press tab to go into edit mode Turn on X-ray mode, select the white side, turn it off, 
and we're just going to snap it to that corner there and then turn it back on press 2 for edges make sure for edges are selected and press X and delete them press 1 for vertices select the 4 and just bring them back like that then we can turn off X-ray mode press tab to go out, right click, origin geometry and we'll just do this one more time make sure that way then is selected shift D, just bring it here R, Z90 so it's facing the right way press G and just snap it to the, the window like that press tab for edit mode turn on x-ray mode snap it so it's overlaying 2 for edges select the 4 edges, press X and delete edges 1 for vertices make sure the 4 vertices are selected nope, that's the wrong ones make sure these 4 are selected snap them like that press tab to go out of edit mode right click origin geometry and just turn off x-ray mode and that's the outer part of our balcony done so I'm just going to select each part of it by pressing shift and selecting it and once I've done that I'm going to press ctrl A to apply scale and then command J to make it one object right click origin geometry so if I press G you can see that it's all stuck together I'm just going to right click to undo that ok the next thing we're going to add to the whaling is the post that you can see in the render so to do that I'm going to select it, press tab to go into edit mode I'm going to click the loop cut tool just make a loop cut in the middle and make it free go into front view, zoom in use the hand to move into a better position you can see that they've all come in not straight so we're just going to click the select tool turn on x-ray mode zoom in and just select bottom vertices click the move tool and just snap it so it's now straight and we'll do that for these two as well and then we're going to press 2 for edges and just select all three by pressing shift and make sure you select them this way and not this way you want to select downwards so that it selects each one individually so you select downwards press shift select downwards press shift so you get them all like that and press ctrl B to bevel and we'll make the width 0 0.025 and just enter that and then we're going to press 3 for faces turn off x-ray mode and I'm just going to select the top faces of the posts and press E to extrude and snap it up like that and then press tab to go out of edit mode right click, origin geometry and we'll do the same for this side so I press tab to go into edit mode select the loop cut tool so click 1 to go in the middle make sure it has a factor of 0 and give the number of cuts 8 and then we're just going to have to go in and make them all straight so I'm just going to go press minus X for left view press x-ray mode and just move in and fix them all individually make sure you press 1 for vertices and just select it and just move it so it snaps so it's straight and we'll just do that for each of the cuts once that's done we're just going to press 2 for edges and just press shift and select all of the edges make sure not to select um, any others like I've just done so I'm just going to click off and press shift and try again don't forget this one here and then we're just going to press ctrl B to bevel them oh. accidentally selected one here, don't do that just going to undo that 
go back into white view, press Ctrl B to bevel them, make the width 0 0.025, then we'll press 3 for faces, turn off x-ray mode, and just select all of the top faces. Once that's done, you can go out of edit mode, and we're just going to add the final part of the railing, which is the glass that goes inside of it. So I'm going to press Shift A, add a plane, R, X, 90 to rotate it. Press G and just snap it inside of the railing like that. Zoom in, press Tab to go into edit mode. One for vertices, select the top, bring it down, snap it inside, snap the white. Snap it inside, press tab to go into edit mode, right click, or join geometry. Zoom in, and just push it inside, we'll just do this by eye, like that. And then we'll select it, press shift D, R, Z, 90 to rotate it, press G. Snap it inside, and then just push it in. Press tab to go into edit mode, and I could make a panel of glass for each part of the railing, but I'm just going to make sure the white side is selected, and just bring it across and snap it to that edge there, just so that we can make this go a bit quicker. Press tab to go out of edit mode, right click, or join geometry, set the one at the back, press shift D. Snap it here to the front and just push it in a bit. Press tab to go into edit mode. Select this side and just snap it to that edge there. And we can just press tab to go into edit mode, to go out of edit mode. Right click, origin geometry, shift D, R, Z90 to rotate. Press G, snap it in. Just push it in just a bit. Just have to go into edit mode, select the white side, and just snap it inside, and press tab, right click, origin geometry. And that's the railing of the villa, all done. Okay, the next thing we're going to add to the scene is this hanging detail on this side of the villa. So to do that, I'm just going to press shift A, add a plane, I'm going to press R, X, 90 to rotate it. I'm going to press G, move it to the side, press G and just snap it to this corner right here, like that. And then press tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to select the top two vertices and snap them to the bottom of the window. Select the ones on the white and just bring them in and change that amount to minus 0 0.65. And then we're going to press A to select everything, E to extrude, and we'll make that amount minus 6.5. Nope, get rid of the minus. There we go. And with that done, we're going to press 3 for faces. I'm going to select this front face. I'm going to press Shift D and right click so it goes back to the same spot. And then P, I'm going to click separate by selection. Then press tab to go out of edit mode, select our new face, right click, origin geometry, and also with the cube, right click, origin geometry. Then we're going to select the new face, and we're going to press S, Z, and we're going to bring the Z scale to 0 0.6, and the X to 0 0.8. And then we're going to press tab to go into edit mode, A to select everything, E to extrude, and we'll make that 8.4.8. Then I'm going to select this top face and the bottom face, and I'm going to press E to extrude, no, I to insert, and we'll make that thickness 0 0.08. And then we're just going to select the loop cut tool, make a loop cut there. We'll press Ctrl B to bevel it. And we're just going to make the bevel. I'm just going to go into top view to 
let's have a look at what we're doing. Now just make the bevel about 0 0.03, maybe a bit more. Yep, 0 0.04. And then we're just going to select the select tool, select press free for faces, reset the top face and the bottom face, bridge them together, select this face and the bottom, right click, bridge them together, then just go back into top view. I'm just going to move to the back here. I'm going to press 1 for vertices and turn on x-ray mode. Make sure all four are selected and just snap them to the back. Then we're going to press free for faces and we're going to select the two faces here and press X and click delete faces. And then press tab to go out of edit mode. And then turn off x-ray mode and we've just got this little detail here. That adds just a bit more to the villa. Okay, the last thing we're going to add before we end the tutorial here, I'm going to add the pavement you can see here. So to add that, we're just going to press Shift A, add a plane. I'm going to press S and just scale that out. I'm just going to change all of the axes to all of the scales to 12. And then I'm just going to hide the ground floor. I'm going to select everything on the top, on the first floor. Press G just to make sure it's all selected. And press M to make a new collection. Click New. I'm just going to put first floor. And just click OK. And just minimize that. And then just hide it. OK, now with our plane, we're just going to move it back. I'm going to make that 5.3 meters. Then I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to press 1 for vertices, select the two back, move them back, make that 6.4 meters. And then we're going to press A to select everything, E to extrude, and I'm just going to extrude it up. And I'm going to make that 0 0.05 meters. Then I'm going to press tab to go out of edit mode, right click, origin geometry. We're just going to hide that and unhide the two floors. Then I'm going to press A to select everything, G, Z, and just bring that up. And bring it up by 0 0.05 meters. So now if we unhide the plane, the villa is now sitting happily on the plane. And next we're just going to add the little path here, so I'm just going to press tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to click the loop cut tool, make a loop cut. I'm going to change the factor to minus 0.5. It's just going to be right there. Actually I might bring that out just a bit more. I might just select the move tool and snap it to that corner there. That looks a bit better. And then I'm going to just going to press control B. To bevel it, we'll make the width 0 0.14, and then we're going to press 3 for faces. I'm going to select this face here and press E to extrude, and we'll just make that 14 meters. Then, if we press tab to go out of edit mode, right click, or join geometry, we've got a nice simple pavement for a villa. I might just move it to the side. I might turn off snap to and just move it to a side just a little bit like that and i think that's where i'm going to end part three of the tutorial series in part four i think we'll hopefully start adding textures to our villa and more as well and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye